Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, welcome back to Stellaris, the cultist campaign. In the last episode, we continued with the war that we are fighting with the Panori Autocracy. Uh, they launched a couple of more attacks to attempt to break through the Berenik system, but we were able to intercept and knock back their fleet for both of those attempts. I believe it was two, maybe three. Not sure, uh, I can't quite remember, but nope. And in the end, we were able to drive them back every time they tried. And we have got the fleet up to 19 ships. And do I have another ship on the way? We do have another ship under construction right now. 36 days. Once they join the fleet... Well, actually, what we're probably going to do is we're going to jump into this system right away and capture that and then we might make a push for the Throm or the Tharam system and see if we can't knock out that starbase. We may lose some ships. Um, it's going to be a bit risky, but I think that if I can do that, we may be able to push this war to a conclusion. So that's what we're going to do. And then we need to get back to taking some territory because we got a lot of stuff here we need to grab. Uh, we are in negative energy credits, so we need to deal with that. And I was looking at this, and what I think we might do... Well, I was looking at recruiting some more armies, which we might go ahead and do recruit a couple of assault armies. Um... Maybe one standard and one cultist assault army. Is we could go with another generator district. The problem is, is that we're already kind of, you know, have open jobs. So I'm not sure I want to build another one. I was thinking of replacing one of the existing districts. I'm thinking one of the agriculture districts. Replace it with a generator district. Oh, we don't have enough minerals. It's gonna take what? 200 or 300 minerals? That should be fine. Um, we'll do that once we have the minerals. Because even if we were going to go ahead and build a new one straight up, we'd need the minerals. Or what I could do is I could cancel the recruitment of the army. Nope, even still. We're going to go ahead and recruit the armies. And then we'll wait for the minerals to come back up. We're only losing three. So it's not the end of the world right now. We should be able to get up to 300 minerals, hopefully, before that becomes a problem. Get that district built. <coughs> Sorry. And then, um... See what we can do from there. Uh, the other thing we could do is try to claim some more territory that has actual power in it. That could also be an effective method. There's some there, there's some there, there's some there. You know, there's a lot of, um power available in this area all right so let's go ahead and let's take the fleet and let's order it to that system receiving communications oh they are making an offer. What are they offering me? Status quo. Your side currently occupies claim territory belonging to the other. Status quo settlement will result in white peace. Um, we're going to decline it. It's good to know that there is the option. But we're going to see if we can't uh, get a little out of this. Construction complete. 
All right, Coria Starbase has finished its queue. We really don't have enough to build anything right now. This should be relatively quick. Attacking enemy assets. Hulks vivisected. Ah, we've analyzed debris. We got uh, cool gun progress. Improved deflectors progress. Physics research, engineering research. Nice. Uh, head back for repairs. Took a little more damage doing that than I had anticipated. Nope, that wouldn't cause any change. So they're going to get reinforcements. Let's see. Panori Autocracy has declared the Reshethi Communion their rival. Are they looking to get repairs? I think they're merging the two fleets. That's what they're doing. Yeah, they're repairing up. They're preparing for another attack. Is it going to be worth it? I'm not sure we're going to be able to actually get anything out of this. Yeah... I think that it, we're probably just going to go ahead and settle the status quo. Send the offer. We'll call it good for now. Alright, we're almost at enough minerals to get this done. Do I have enough minerals to get a outpost built? Or not minerals, uh, allies, yes. Star system charted. Alright, we finished surveying. Over here. You continue with your surveying. Technology secured. All right, we got improved deflectors. Very nice. Uh, plasma throwers. Improved reactor booster. Chemical plants. Uh, chemists turn minerals into whatever that is. Some sort of resource. You know what? Let's grab it. We're going to finish Energy Siphon next month. We got another progress on coil guns, physics research, and engineering research. Good. All right, you're done. Go ahead and get to surveying. Technology secured. There's our energy siphons. Uh, Starbase capacity plus two. Yes, we need that. 
Encounter in Ginnog. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Ginnog system. They've been flagged as the Omicron aliens. Interesting. Ah. Space amoebas. Okay, so let's go ahead and investigate them. And then on our capital planet, we are going to go ahead and do the conversion. We're going to replace this with a generator district for now. Construction complete. And then we'll rebuild that agriculture district once. Um, Once we can. All right, non-aggression pact invitation. The Nagyari Stellar Commonwealth wants to enter into a non-aggression pact. We'll agree to that. I would rather not have them as an enemy. We already have one aggressive, hostile nation on our border. I'd rather not have two. Discovery, hell. Uh, scientist Kali Jakena aboard the science vessel Yaparga has made a horrific discovery on Moscot 2. Of all the insufferable, undeniable, terrible, infested hell holes of planets, this world, so overrun by packs of giant arachnids, is the worst. The worst! It seems like madness to even think of setting foot on this world. The officers heard nighttime hissing coming from the treetops and caverns, not to mention the endless thumping sounds as these giant arachnid creatures walked all over the ship. The scientists didn't care if the arachnids broke something. They ordered an immediate departure. This world should never be visited again. Study this further. Study this further. Ah, we're familiar with the giant arachnids. We kind of, uh, responsible for spreading them around the galaxy a little bit. Um... Where was that? Moscot over here. Cue that research project in. All right, we finished over here. Build the research station. You get all oh, things are unstable modes. Um, where do I want to focus on this? Get one built there. Detected the presence of an alien civilization on Sia Sothea 4 in the Sia Sothea system. They appear to be in the early stage, early space age, as evidenced by the many primitive satellites orbiting their homeworld. Their nation states are on the path towards joining together in a global government, and is likely only a matter of time before they venture beyond their world and join the galactic community. We should consider building an observation post above their world. Where is this? Over there. Hmm. They're very close to becoming their own civilization. Alright, so this is the extra scanning we did. Um, we gain 400 experience. Okay. So that is not a habitable planet. Not by us, anyway. Let's see, can I do something about this? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, those are branch offices. Never mind. Uh, actually, can I expand the branch office here? No. This one? No. That one? No. Have they established any more colonies that I can infiltrate? No. Space me, but it's the entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new spaceborne life forms. Quickly nicknamed Space Amoeba, following an, an analyst's gross misreading of initial sensor output. The creature is, in fact, larger than the average drow corvette. Drow? That's not right. Despite its apparent. Uh, Orneriness. Further study is warranted. We can remotely monitor the creature and its kim from Varus. Situation log updated. Construction complete. All right. I'm not sure what that was all about. Um. I, it, the the drow race is part of the elves of Stellaris mod, which I needed to get the Alarians back in. So there's probably some wires getting crossed there. I'll have to look into it. All right. Um, This would be a good place for a trade hub. But, let's see, we're finally here and surveying. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and build the outpost there. Continue to extend our reach a little bit. Um, what I was trying to do is get in here and... Let's see, declare martial law. See if there's any edicts that I can do to increase energy output. Immigration pool, pop growth speed, reduces stability. No, not at this level. Uh, let's see, edicts at this level. The star has submitted grants, exotic gases is fuel. Sublight speed. Exotic gases for shield boost. Um Policies. That's what I might be looking for. Production targets, monthly minerals, monthly unity, governing ethics attraction, survey speed and only discovery chance, trust growth trade awareness at uh, trade attractiveness. No, I don't see anything here that gives us more energy credits. Unfortunately. Anomaly found. All right, anomaly found. Briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. Might have been a glitch in our systems, but it could be a sign of something more. Yep, take a closer look at it. All right, we're about to get our new generator district, so we'll see if that helps. Construction complete. It did. Not enough. Alright, let's see. Can I... Uh, 
let's I probably want to build another generator district here somewhere they got a lot of potential here we could build a few here we don't really need the food um we don't quite have enough minerals. Alright, so once we get the 300 minerals, we're going to have to build another generator district somewhere. And I think that this col this colony might be the best. The Mudstrom Prime. Because we're about to need jobs. Alright, magnetic reversal. The magnetic field of Siothea 1 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the Tanir. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Very good. Alright, you're still heading there to build that. There's a Stone Age... Early space age. I think we're gonna need to make this heading out here a priority as well because I would like to get an observation post. Oh, calmed. Oh, a bit civilization encountered. Uh, we take the presence of a primitive alien civilization. They appear to be in the later stages of the Bronze Age, having mastered early metal working. Though most of the population is rural, several large city states have formed. Interesting. Star system charted. Alright, so we're done charting that system. You can head down here and survey that system. Alright, these guys are expanding. I am more than happy to kind of let them fill in over here. And then we can hold this. Because again, we don't... We, because we suffer such a larger penalty to sprawling, I don't want to sprawl too much. I just want to take what we can get, and then we'll use it from there. Alright, so you build that mining station. You build a outpost there. And you... Actually, what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and have you go on auto explore. Now the core system needs an upgraded starbase. I really need to get a science ship out here to begin pushing in this direction to see if we can't chart some of these routes a bit better. But we need to continue surveying all of these guys first. This science ship will most likely be the one that heads out there because this is the last one in this section. Alright, go ahead and build that observation post. And we now have enough to build additional district. So go to Mudstrom, build a generator district there. We have a lot of barely habitable colony systems, potential colony systems, but I don't know if they're really worth it at this point. Anomaly found. We detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this planet. What better organism could possibly live there? All right, go ahead and find out. All right, so there you go. Let's go ahead and get an outpost over there. Construction complete. Now this station, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade. Oh, what's this? We don't want to drag your empire into a conflict, but it's clear that we would benefit from joining together against possible threat. They want a mutual defense treaty. We'll agree to this. 
So that means that if these guys attack us again, these guys should come to help us. Foreign operatives apprehended. Foreign operatives belonging to the Tuscan hierarchy have been have been apprehended by our counterintelligence forces. Initial investigation suggests that they were attempting to sabotage our diplomatic relations with the Nagyari Stellar Commonwealth. Inform the Nagyari Stellar Commonwealth. Drop the matter. They may have useful information to interrogate them. We'll lose a bunch of influence. Let's see what this do. Uncovered operation opinion modifier. As the minor diplomatic cooperation opinion. Yeah, we'll inform the Nagyari Stellar Commonwealth. I think that is the espionage mod that I'm not entirely sure I turned on. I guess I did. Uh, yes, I apparently do have it on. Intelligence funding standard. Counterintelligence funding standard. Okay. Does that mean that I can conduct espionage against... Let's see, where's where's the planet? There it is. Uh, there is this button here, edicts, open espionage menu. Okay. There's Security Council Intelligence Agency that gathered, ready to oversee a new operation. We could attempt a large-scale propaganda campaign to either sabotage or improve relations between two foreign powers. Alternatively, we could finance an industrial espionage operation and send agents to penetrate targets military, industrial complex, and private industry. The aim of retrieving cash is a useful research. We could finance an operation to sabotage a foreign starbase, significantly weakening it before an attack. Ooh, I completely forgot I had this even installed. Well, an investment of influence, which we have plenty of, and time. Changes of success depending on our own intelligence funding and our target's counterintelligence funding. Let's see. Let's do some industrial espionage. Send it to the Panori Autocracy. Target their... Uh, what would we want? Target their engineering research. Commence operations. We only have standard funding, so we'll see how it goes. Maybe once we actually have more, uh, credits coming in, we can... We can work on that some more. Incoming transmission. Chief Executive Officer of Computer... Horopter? The Racket Industrial Enterprise. Greetings to you, Vari, from the Racket Industrial Enterprise. We are brokers, deal makers, who have traveled the stars from trade station Tungle. You pass through your space in peace, only to buy, to sell. We will offer you good deals, many things. We will speak again before we leave. Should you call us, the Caravansary Caravan Coalition will answer. Uh, greetings. What can you offer us? Notice that your mining station over of ja Jasmac. It extracts energy, does it not? We can assist. We can grant you a satellite, one fitted with a clever technology called the Racket Energy Extractor. Remain in orbit and increase the amount of energy credits you can obtain from Jasmac's surface. Now, for the cost, we have run afoul of some legalities. Minor details, very trivial, but we would require some witness, some support. An out upstanding face to back our cause. Would your strong and wise nation vouch for us? Poor, trustworthy traitors, very innocent, whose only mistake was a distraction of the mind, a mere oversight that led to the transgression of some pesky legislature? We lose 70 influence, 
and we gain five energy to Jazzmac. We need the energy. We accept your deal. Alright, some kind of brewing silicon based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Brocan B2. As best we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there is evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Our tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Nice. Where is this, uh... Here. I guess they haven't deployed it yet. Operation failed. Whether from chance or the actions of counterintelligence agency, we have no success in infiltrating the Panori autocracy. Unfortunate. We may need to try that again once we have enough energy credits to bump up our funding. Okay. Let's keep getting stations building. Kevin here is old with defects. Our starbase in the Coria system reports that the Rack Industrial Fleet has evacuated and abandoned a decrepit ship. Now an unstable orbit around the system central star. One's man's trash. Let the sun swallow it. Tow it to the starbase for disposal. We gain 378 consumer goods. We don't need it. Let's see. Let's take the special project. Updated. Go to, we need a construction ship to come over here. Let's see, we're going to use you. Hit that research project first. Anomaly found. All right, by chance we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? Yeah, let's see what it is. You guys need upgrades. Do it. Once we stabilize our economy, we can might be able to get this uh, fleet flying around on a patrol route, but for now, it's not looking like that's going to be an option. Uh, mining stations. Ancient life pod. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Brocken B1. It's covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the Tamiri managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched one of its claws, a small picture of another individual of the same race, possibly a mate or revered leader. Interesting. All right. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on in the galaxy 5,000 years ago. More than 5,000 years ago. All right. Um, an ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It suffers significant battle damage, and the entire sections of the facility are missing. Go ahead and take a look at it. That's down here. These guys are expanding and filling in. Uh, we could get another... Let's see. I'm going to take a look at Wick Requiem. I do need to change the name of this system, uh, this colony. There was a suggestion. I need to look it back up again. I'll probably do it after I'm finished recording, which... It looks like we're probably about done. Um... Let's get a generator district going up here. 
All right, so we'll go ahead. We're going to end the episode here. We're at time, so we'll, we'll call it good. And uh, we'll continue our explorations and expansion. Hopefully grab a few more star bases that have energy. We need to get over here. Get these two. Nothing really kind of sticks out as a nice as a nice large source of power. At least not yet. Anyway, we have a few more systems to survey over there. So we'll see what comes out over there. These two are probably our best bet. We'll have to get a construction ship over here at some point. All right, but for now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.